Hey friends, welcome to Woodbine Outdoors. Listen, I just want to do a quick video. Um, I did a kayak trip up the Satilla River yesterday and caught probably about 25 uh, different kinds of panfish, brim, crappie, wherever you're from, whatever you call them. I caught, I kept about seven. And uh, I just wanted to do you a quick video on how I clean them. In case you want to go and, uh, and you need a quick video on how to clean them again, if you want to bring some home, they're one of my favorite fish in the world to eat. I really enjoy them. Um, it's been a long time since I've been, it's been a long time since I cleaned one. So bear with me and, uh, and we'll walk through how to do it just real quick. All right, as you can see, I just have a, a little setup here. You're gonna want water hose, a knife. And you know, it really doesn't have to be a fillet knife. It actually works better if it's just this type of knife. I'm not gonna be filleting these. You gotta get into some real slabs before you before you fillet them i just did a few already just to kind of sharpen up i'm telling you it's been years since i did one of these i believe this is what they like to refer to as a stump knocker um in that river in the river system that i was in i caught a couple of bluegill uh, i didn't catch any red breast and maybe and maybe one more species i'm not sure i just use a butter knife to fillet these guys I'm um, not not to fillet them, but to um, to scale them. I just use a butter knife. You know, it works good for me. You want to stay away from these. You know, them things right there will get you. I got stuck. You know, about 10, 15 times yesterday. Putting these things in the kayak. I mean, they are in the boat with you, son. It ain't like being in a bass boat or something where you can put them down on the floorboard. Like he's sitting in your lap, going nuts. So it's an exciting day. So we're gonna clean these scales up all on the side flip it over i'm gonna get the majority of these all the way up to the bottom right there some of this is going to get cut off but i like to get close to it all the way up to the top i like to keep a real clean workspace man you know some some people can just scale all the fish you know in one spot and it's okay to pick it up, especially if you need to hold on to it to get this forehead. Because we're going to cut all the way down here. All this is real good meat right here. Probably the thickest spot really on the fish. There are scales up under these fins here too. You're going to want to get those. Once again, work space. I probably squirted this spot off 20 times. All right. There's our fish. Just going to double check for scales this is a good time to check because you can see them come on there's a few right there a few up top and you also you know might want to just double check them again before you cook these fish that way you get all the scales what i like to do is i like there's a million ways to do this this is just the way that i do it so don't be mad there's a there's a gill plate there's like a little plate right here i like to come in right behind this fin and then you pick that fin up not behind the fin but when you pick this fin up you'll see that plate stand up right there a little it's a it's a bunch of um and i'm it's like a, a bone system and i just like to angle my knife in and just push down until you hear that crack and then the same up top you just put your knife in the same place working that knife in towards the head until you hear the spine sever right there. And then the other side, just do the same thing. If you pick that up and work your knife in, it'll meet up to where your other cuts are. And then the head just comes right off. And it, you know, you just got like just the head. You know, we didn't, we didn't waste hardly no meat right there. There's not much on these little guys. So I like to pick these fins up because once again, that's a, that fin, it's just like a bone, a system of bones and just come right under that and cut it off. Then for the, for the cut on the bottom, for the guts, I like to come in right behind the little exit hole right there with your knife, aiming down so you don't cut your hand, pop that just up in there, bust that swim bladder, and then you can get the guts out really easy these little things aren't made of much i just like to wear gloves it just keeps the stinky fish smell from under my fingers all day i'm not a nice nasty i promise i just don't like to smell like fish all day 
and then there we go. That is, that bad boy is clean. Pretty lot of meat right there. And uh, I love to pick the bones on these. Like I said, you can fillet them, but you really want them about a th at least a third bigger than this to start filleting these things. To me, I'm just not that good. A, I'm not that good of a, a fillet guy. But anyway, these are your tools. You can use a spoon or a butter knife for the. Um, you can use a lot of different things for the scales. I just use a regular knife, and that's it. Easy peasy. You can clean up a bunch of these. They're good to eat. They're really great for an appetizer if you're like getting some stuff ready. But this this sets up and breaks down in just a matter of minutes. Nothing to it. Guys, get outdoors and enjoy yourself. Thanks for tuning in.